I know you know right from wrong, and yet lips stay zipped. Whispers kept hidden, eyes driven in the opposite direction when lives are taken of the opposite complexion. Popping off at the mouth only when it's first world discretions, like I need a haircut, a hamburger, marching with a handful of lead locked and loaded will get me all that with no consequences. It's nonsense. We guard a fortress of ignorance, ignoring the lawless arm of the law, pawing at problems that don't really fucking matter while watching blue lives fracture black ones, knees to neck, choke holes and bullet holes until there's no more blood left to splatter. America's history is a cataclysmic disaster. And we act faster for fast food chains to open back up than when cops cast more pain on the backs of those who don't look like us. Privilege has got you living different. You don't want to give up that comfortable position or converse on atrocities stuck within your vision. So you protect the opposition of peace. Our closed mouths keep racism walking the streets. Police stalking black people, no intention to speak to them with anything other than the muzzle on their peace. You don't want to give in to your morality because it means giving up some friends and family. Easier to say nothing if it's not your tragedy. Magically lost your voice when faced with the choice of disrupting your normality. Instead saying shit like, where's the rest of the tape? Maybe he wasn't compliant and resisted today. He should have listened today. Couldn't care less that loved ones got someone missing today. About face to what's been witnessed today. Pissing in the wind while dreams cut short and nightmares manage to stay. He can't breathe and our silence does nothing but help the next George Floyd's life be whisked away. He's done being kissed by the sun and it's a goddamn shame. So you're going to sit and listen today. Because I know you know those who use uniforms to abuse who they see fit to fuck with. So fuck you and fuck them. Fuck the opinions of your daddy, your uncle, your brother, and your friends. None are worth an innocent soul ceasing to live. And you might think it's not your problem, but you know that I know for most us white people, these types of situations are always all relative. Give in to the better you and confront those familiar faces. Don't be afraid to take the discussion to some difficult places. Place your heart on your tongue and shout what's just before it once again is way too late. Become intolerant to intolerance. Stand with your neighbor and stop turning your back when another human being is being buried by hate.